Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this video is going to be about my Baja, my 5SC. Now, you guys that have been following my channel or even looking at some of my videos, you would have seen this truck. Um, and even in um, some of the, the latest videos, I was not running the body. Now, my plans, actually before I get to that, this truck originally came to, um, I don't know how long ago that was, it was some time back now, my mate and myself were chasing some spare parts and odds and ends for, for a walk on my 5T and his his 5SC and this thing came wasn't the body didn't come with this lot of lot of stuff but the chassis and all the workings of it um there's a whole lot of other bits and pieces just in a box um and this thing came to us with the with the original 23 cc pretty sad 23 um and if you if you look back in some of my videos earlier on i did talk about using this this Baja as like a, a chase car, like a video car or whatever it was. There's a brief bit of video footage of it outside my mate's house with no body or nothing. Um, and then later on, we acquired some more stuff where this body came along, along with some stuff. Now, originally this body was red and I painted it to the Ghost Rider theme. But anyways, the whole thing She's getting to the point now where it needs a bit of a makeover. So this whole thing is going to be my Baja makeover. So I'll get rid of this body out the way because I'm not going to run the body anymore. I've got different plans for it. Um, and there you go. As you can see, like I said before, you would have seen this in some, some of the later videos with no body. Now, <clears throat> I thought it was, you know, the motor, the motor's not performing as well as it should. It's, uh, it's a 30.5 and it's needless to say i need to strip it down i think i've got a fair bit of play in the bottom end now so obviously it needs bearing so whether i now the, the thing with it is um i don't know I, i'm i'm in two minds put it this way do i rebuild the 30.5 put it back into here again or do i trial run uh, the Raven 45cc in here. Now, the 45cc that I'm talking about is actually in my in my Maverick MT. Um, the last time I had it out, and there's a couple of bits of footage that I wish I got but didn't. Um, the 45, as some of you guys know, is a torque monster. Now, what it's done, stripped all the all the teeth off all the metal gears in the drivetrain um, and they were still inside the inside the case that goes over the on the outside of all the gears there now and, and in doing that there was another jump that I did and we missed it on the video so and I think it's destroyed one of the steering servos so in the meantime uh, actually if you go back to my last video you'll probably see I've I got some uh, pictures of the strip gears and, and all that sort of stuff in there but in the meantime so that needs that needs a fair bit of, a fair bit of stuff so i was toying with the idea of maybe removing my 45 from the mt and trialing it into here um shout out to a, a guy that i've been following and he's following me now is, uh, is our matey from rc dungeon now he's running a 45 in a Baja as well and man it seems to go quite well and it's a it's a beast actually check his video out RC Dungeon now while I'm, while I'm going along those lines <coughs> um, I don't know let me know what you think should I rebuild the 30.5 or should I trial run the 45 cc in, into here so put a comment down there guys let me know what you think uh, right well straight away I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that I've got already that's already come for, for this thing and my, what I plan to do with it. Now, straight off the bat, this old 2.4 gig radio, okay? Now, it is old. I mean, it's it came, it, it came along with the basket case that this was originally. Um, <clears throat> so I'm thinking about maybe changing that out. Now, 
there is a I don't think it's a full channel actually the one I've, one I've seen in the mate's hobby shop it's um it's got the the gyro uh thing with it so as any of you guys that aren't sure what that means is if the car's going along and it starts to step out sideways or it what it tries to what the job of the gyro part of the radio gear is to keep the wheels try and keep the wheels straight so if the car's fishtailing it, it, it's going to want to try and keep the wheels straight you know if, if you know what i'm saying so and it's a four channel <clears throat> so i'm thinking i may may go down that road i've got to do a bit more research and check that out um now with this with this thing i plan on pulling it all to pieces stripping it down now wheels and tires i think i'm going to go with a different type i mean i do have the original 5sc wheels and tires so i don't know whether, whether i'll go back with these or maybe i'll keep these as a spare set um, or there's a few nice wheel and tire packages out there now, so maybe I might buy a new set for it. We'll see what happens. Um, I will still run this pipe. The now this thing, like I said before, it was secondhand piece of like a basket case, uh, and a lot of whoever had it beforehand, a lot of the alloy bits have just been painted over, painted over black. So my plans are, as you can see, the chassis is purple, the engine plate is orange. So I'm going to say off the bat, this thing was probably a bits and pieces slapped together machine, which, and at the end of the day, is what I did to get it going. Um, but I'm going to clean them all up. Like that purple, anodized purple on the chassis, as you can I'll lift this up a bit, you can see it. Whoop, just about lost my table. Um, underneath there, it's all scuffed and, you know, looks a bit untidy. So, my, so like I said, what we plans we're doing, I'm going to clean it all up and give it the just the shiny not so much shiny but the aluminium look so it's kind of dresses it up a little bit so like you, you know all your alloy braces and the braces in the side here uh, a lot of then this does have a lot of upgraded bits on it <clears throat> like your engine engine mount brace here on the back it's got the hostile aluminium hub carriers on it uh, rpm arms on the front like a lot of good stuff so i'll be cleaning all that up and including i do have a motor plate that I will be using this. I'll swap the orange one out, put this on just to keep in the theme. Um, and also somewhere here, I've got these uh, shock tower for the front. Now, I've had these for a while, but I'm thinking about this one that's on here now is alloy, but you wouldn't think it because it's covered in black paint. But I'm thinking for this time around, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this one on here. It's more of a looks thing. Um, but it, to me, it seems to be a little bit more beefier than what's on here. I mean, I've never had any grounds with this one, but at the end of the day, I think it might look better. Yeah, so the whole thing that I'm looking at doing here, guys, is I'm going for a whole different look. So, <clears throat> you know, like I was just saying, uh, the, the shock towers, the trying to make everything look shiny again. Not so much shiny, but give it a more cleaner, cleaner look is what, I, is what I'm trying to say. So I will be reusing the these mounts because I do have some of the other stuff I've got that I've got coming through it. I do have this. Now, when you look at it, especially that side, I know a lot of you guys know exactly what this has come from. I mean, <clears throat> I got this for nothing. I got it off a mate. The he bought. Now, I'm going to say it. It's a it's a low, it's a lossy lossy. However, you just want to say it from where he uses it from. DVXL cage. Now. Baja DVXL. Two different machines, but I'll tell you what, I have trial fitted this and the wheelbase suits and everything else. Um, I do have the panels for it. Um, so I'm going to trial this on here. Now, I have trial fitted and you, the, the three holes are here. Now, this hole and the, and the, sorry, the front and the back holes, pretty much very, very closely line up to your, to your holes in here. So, that's the plan. So I'll be going with this kind of a look. Still be running the pipe, but in order to run this, the Baja cage has to go. Uh, I mean, it has. To, if you're going to run the, the Baja is it the um, the HPI cage that goes anyway. But anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to run this. So I know it's probably sacrificial, but 
it'll be some kind of, uh, for lack of better words, like a, a hybrid. Baja, Lacey, I mean, it's not the first time it's been done. Guy's been doing uh, Lacey 5T slash Baja uh, with the big bore motors and using the Baja rear end. Two wheel drive. <clears throat> and they really hoot. But back on topic. So that's the plan with that. I'll be using that cage. Um, I do have a few bits that's well, already turned up. So like, I've got um, some dog bone or, you know, rear shafts, uh, boots, some shock boots. I've got a couple of different types here. These are your HBI ones, and I'm not too sure where I got these ones from, actually. I've had these sitting around for a while. But I have this same type on my on my uh, Baja 5T. So, and they seem to be good. They've been, they've been on that. 5T truck for quite some time now. They haven't split, um, so they're going well. I mean, these ones are just the original HPI stuff. So I'm in two minds there. Maybe I'll go with these because they've done so well in there. Maybe I'll keep these as spare, I don't know. That's the plans for that. Um, and like I said, yeah, the drive shaft boots. Now, I do have some other stuff here. Now this is basically a um, air filter kit. It's got your, I've already taken the inner out, but it's got the outer as well. I don't know what I've done with the inner, it's around here somewhere. The outer, the O-ring for your for your um, air filter plate, your insert that goes in, and some air filter oil. Um, so I've got that. But some of that stuff I probably won't use because this I already have on here the alloy alloy setup. And it just has the, the foam, foam insert inside. And it's one of those ones, you put your plate, your base plate, it bolts up with your carby, like all the other Baja ones do and then the alloy carrier screws onto it. So I'm still gonna run with that. I might change the outer foam. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, some other stuff, good because I will be going right through this. I'll be checking all the wheel grounds. So I think it's a couple, couple on this truck, so I'll be checking them out. Now what I do have, this thing also has the alloy uh, transmission case. So I got some, some, some spares in here, um, bearings for your div, you look like your, what I'm gonna say, crown wheel, if you wanna call it that. Your idler gears in there, there's a, another another hex for your lay shaft and, and some bear, some bearings and what looks like bloody bushes there as well. So I'll be stripping that out, have a look at that. Um, what else do I have? What I do have here too is, now I've scored these from somewhere, I'm not too sure. They are a different brand of 5T. The lossy or slash, not so much lossy, they got LT on them. It might be the Raven version of the lossy 5T. So, you know, I'm thinking about doing something different on the front. Like I had, um, where's this bar? That was on there originally in some of the earlier videos, you'd see that. So I'm thinking about running back with that, giving it a different look in the front and maybe making a bracket and mount these, these four in behind there, just for looks. I mean, I do have some other Baja style light buckets as well. Something different. While I'm on topic two, I was just before about talking about bearings. Um, it's also handy if you guys are actually changing bearings. Some you may need to reinsert. This is your bearing tool, right? Helps. Like it's a, it, actually if you do have your original um, instruction manual, it'll show you how this thing works. Like it's, you put it in, undo this off obviously, put your wheel bearing in and you do use that to wind it in the seat, your bloody bearings in your, in your suspension arms, nice and squared. I mean, not a necessary um, tool, but can make life a little bit easy. Some of you might be using your own type of tools, pressing them in or whatever else. Um, yeah, and like I said, <clears throat> the manual. Now what I've done, uh, we don't actually have an actual Baja manual. So I went online and downloaded. Now this is the 5T manual. But 5T, 5SC, it's exactly the same, except for the 5SC has got this type of RCN and this type of bumper, whereas the 5T is a bit different. But it, but you know, and it's it's got some good thingo, good thingo, it's got some good information in, a lot of breakdowns of all different parts, right from the wheels and tires, bead locks, screws, to your body. How it mounts, all of the different things, and like, you know, and spares, all your spares what's actually in the truck also in here so it shows you how to rebuild your shocks and everything else so 
something handy as a reference tool. Um, now, you know, I do have some other stuff coming for this truck, so, but anyway, I just thought I'm gonna put this video up there just to bloody show you what my next project is. So, I mean, if there's some videos coming up that probably won't have this truck in it, for obvious reasons, I will be going through it and it will have a new look. Now, the, actually, something I've been thinking about with this cage that I've got coming, sorry, that I have, that I'm gonna put on this, it's got, I've got the body panels for it and everything else. Now, I've been looking around on YouTube and online and stuff for a different paint scheme. Um, so, what I was thinking, I might put it out there to you guys, see what you guys think. What do you think maybe I should, what kind of paint scheme, or colours or um, any airbrushing stuff that maybe would be pretty cool? I mean, I've got some, um, some ideas myself, but put it in the comments, guys, see what you think. What do you yeah, think? so, like I just said, put some comments there, let me know what you think, guys. Um, now, the other, a couple of other things that I've got, I'm thinking about maybe using on this on this bloody thing too, is I've got a couple of different wings. Like, there's a Baja wing, and I've got this other one here. Now, I don't exactly know where this came from, but I think it is a, it's off a lossy, lacy, uh, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this style of wing on, is it, what's it called? It, go, it comes, I'm pretty sure I've seen it come with or on some of the lossy trucks with the 30 degree north body. I, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it looks like, I'm pretty sure. But, so I can run that maybe, or the Baja wing, we'll see. So I've got some, I've got some things there that I've got to think about with building this. Now, what I am going to say though, guys, um, I'm not gonna do a, a video that's of me breaking everything down piece by piece, screw by screw, all that sort of stuff. I'll do it in sections, you know, like when it comes to, I don't know, cleaning up all the alloy parts, maybe I might do something there, or doing something with the engine. But basically, I don't want to put a boring ass video out there so that you guys go, oh God, and just keep sliding through, sliding through. So no one wants to watch a drawn out, long, boring video. So I'll just come back in, a uh, bit of a progress report, what I'm up to, where it's what's next blah 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 so in saying all that now there's one other thing um i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a shout another shout out a mate of mine um he's got a hobby shop locally here uh where i live um scale autos is the name of his shop um check him out he's got a thing on facebook now he has a whole lot of stuff. Like he's got a lot of RC stuff. He's got die cast cars. He's got plastic model kits, um, and it goes on. He's got all kinds of stuff there. Now the other thing with the RC side of things, um, he does have some quite a few different brand names. You know, like uh, in the electric trucks, or as Botagel says, like E words. So you know, you're talking things like the uh, a lot of the tracks. He's got nearly almost every model of the track that tracks has put out there's a couple that are still coming um like the udr that should be here in the next week um he has like the crawlers all different types of crawlers uh one thing now getting sort of back to the rc thing now everybody is everybody's been hearing what's going on with uh with hpi how they're going broke or going out of business or, or whatever else now a mate of mine he was talking to one of his suppliers and there i'm pretty sure in australia don't quote me but he heard that there was um with the hpi stuff the the kraken hpi kraken now there was four left that he heard about now that's just that's just through his supplier i don't know what what the rest of australia is like so but anyway this that's something else He's got two of the HPI Krakens turning up in the, in the next week or so to his shop. So just thought, you know, go on to Facebook, um, look up Scale Autos, and um, you can see what kind of stuff Shane's got there. He's got quite a whole heap of um, some nice gear. Uh, and he's not just RC stuff, but like I was saying, he's got plastic models in die cast cars and slot cars and, you know, a whole different thing. So check him out. So. 
I think the video's gone long enough, guys. But I'm just gonna put this out there so that shows where I'm at with uh, with my Baja, basically. What the plans I've got for it. And motor-wise, sorry. Let me rephrase that, engine-wise. Uh, so let me know, that was like I said before, let me know what you think. Should I rebuild the 30.5 or while I'm waiting, because I'm gonna need quite a few parts for this Maverick MT. Anyway, guys, I've gone on long enough. So <clears throat> thanks for watching. Thanks to all the subscribers. And remember what I say, grab your trucks, get outside, go have some fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.